So welcome back to the colouring zone. Um, my name is Helena. So this is a video on some items that I purchased in January and February. And um, I'll just clear these out of the way and I'll show you one by one. So the first few items um, relate to the Distress Inks. So I already had the Distress Inks, so it's actually the tin that I've purchased um, in the last couple of months. So the tin, I've, I thought it would be a really useful thing to have because it means that they're stored the correct way because they are meant to be upside down. Um, so previously I was using so something like this um, to to apply them. Now I found, if I just show you, so I just found that I couldn't really get a very even coat. Um, so I saw on um, Colour Me Stress Fee, I believe it was Debbie, um, she actually had purchased these, so I was very much enabled by her. Um, but yeah, so I've swatched them out and actually I, I can really see a, no, a difference in the coverage. So I've got those little bits. And then previously I was using a, a spray bottle like this. Um, I think it was relatively cheap. It was just on Amazon. Um, but more recently I've purchased this one. It's just a bit smaller and more portable. So I thought this would be a good, good little thing to have. So those are those few items. The next few items is the Karen Dash um, palette mat. Um, I I was umming and ahhing whether to purchase this one and I, and I just think that if I actually have something to apply, um, if I have something that I can use to put these on and then actually use it straight from the palette, um, I try not to sharpen these, but the thing is if you're using the crayons, then they tend to get dull. These are the new ones that I bought, so I got three extras. Um, so I have the, the 40, the, sorry, the 30 set. Um, so I'm buying the rest of them open stock. Um, I'm not, you know, I, I want to get more use out of these these crayons. They're really good quality, but I just really need to practice with like applying them. So, um, but yeah, I have been using this one, so um, it was a good thing to buy. So there's that one. Now this one I was enabled by um, Kirsty Colour and Sketch. I think she mentioned it, or I might have seen it in her wish list. Um, I've been trying to find a makeup brush with this sort of fan-like um, look to it, but I haven't come across one. So when I saw it, I thought that'd be perfect. So I tend to work a lot with Prismacolors and as you probably know, they're quite crumbly and the pigment t tends to sort of break off of the pencil and sometimes I could smudge it. So that's a good one to have. So the next few ones are pencil sharpeners. So. I had a pencil sharpener, I had this pencil sharpener, it was a Helix one. Now I've had it for quite a few years, um, but what happened was it actually broke and um, I thought, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll try an, a new one. <laughs> so I bought this one here. This one is the, the, the Dowl um, and it's 133. Um, this was actually recommended by Pamela. Um, her channel name is Pamela's Passion for Pencils, I believe. Um, so I bought this one and it's just, it's quite small and because you can't get as much in there, um, you have to empty it more regularly. And I did actually, one of the pencils broke off in here and it took me a little while to get it out. Um, but it just doesn't seem as sturdy. With this one, it's metal. So I ended up buying, buying both, which, you know, you can have, I suppose you can never have too many sharpeners anyway. So those, those ones. And this one here is a cum. I've not tried this one. Um, I can't remember whose channel I actually saw it on, um, but I'm, I'm looking forward to trying this one here out because it's quite, it's good that it's got extra blades, um, and it wasn't really that expensive, um, so I think that was a, that's, that's a good, good buy. Um, so there's that one. And then the next, so the next lot are our teaser. So Arteza gel pens, so the white ones, I haven't, I've had them for a little while now and I haven't actually used them yet. Um, these ones, so this is Arteza's 18 glitter and gel pens, which is the premium range, so is the white ones. Um, and I have actually swatched these out. 
So here are the colours. They are such beautiful colours and actually there is a really good range here. So um, yeah, they sort of they sort of remind me of the dual um, metallic hybrids from Pentel. So I'm, I've used a couple of them recently in some pages and you'll see them in my completed pages. Um, but yeah, they're lovely. They're really, really nice colours. And again, I was actually enabled by Kirsty Colour and Sketch um, for those ones as well. Going on the gel pen um, theme. So I bought these ones. So these are the mellow colours. So there are seven sets. Uh, beautiful colours. I will... So they're these colours here. Um, if I just tilt it in the light, so it's these ones here. So these are the the other dual metallic hybrid pens, um, and these are the new colours. They're absolutely beautiful. So I've got those. So my next purchase was the Creative Companion. Um, this is Ruby Charms colours. Um, I've purchased this one, so I have already got the creative companion but it was last year's and as you can see it's a little bit it's a little bit battered <laughs> it's well it's well loved it's well used so i've got this one and i just thought it'd be a good way of tracking my um tracking my my completed pages and projects ongoing projects that i want to do with regards to coloring pages so i've got this one so this one doesn't actually include the um the colour charts. So this one includes the charts at the back. Um, so you can actually swatch out all of your all of your pens. I have done some. Um, so yeah, it's so this one here doesn't have that, but I'm sort of glad because actually I'm going to continue. I don't want to be swatching them out every every year, every time I get a new one of these. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna keep using this one and then use the diary um, in this one. My most recent purchase um, are these. So these are the Karen Dash portrait um, assortment set. So I have taken out, taken them out of the wrapper, but I have not actually used them. So it looks like a good selection of, um, of colours. So I look forward to using them. I'm really trying to get better with skin. So this was a really good set to get. So the next little item that I got is by KJ Designs by Karen on Etsy. And these are so beautiful. I've swatched them out, unfortunately. Um, it did get a little bit mucky because I, um, I put water on it and then I didn't actually... Um, wait for it to dry but they're such beautiful colours and I've used them in a couple of um on a couple of pages this month so yeah I look forward to getting more use out of those now the last item is pencil case um I believe the 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 name is um you shares and I got this on Amazon and I just thought it was so sweet so they are housing my um my polychromos so I've had the polychromos for a few years now but I just thought it'd be nice to get a new case before I had them all so the Albert Durer um Fabric Castell and also the polychromos all in one big case but it made more sense to have them separately um so I bought this one and uh, yeah, it's, it holds 200 pencils, so it's a good size. I have actually got another one. I think it's the cactus one that I've um, got my prismas in. So I just thought it was really sweet with the soft. So I've got that one. So we're now moving on to coloring books. So the first one that I got is Waltz for the Seasons. Now this is by um, Kanuku Agusa. So um, it's absolutely beautiful book and it's really good because they've got, if I just show you quickly, so they've got ideas for inspiration, they've got the full size or they've also got these half size. So if you want a smaller project then you need, and they're actually perf perforated. So the one that I would really like to do is, is this one. Um, so there's that one so 
All of these books I actually got from Amazon Japan. Um, so there are a few. Um, I'm not going to do a flip through of this one because I think there are quite a few out there on, on YouTube. But there are some less known books that I've I've not come across that are postcard um, and they're from Japan. So, so there's that one. Now the next one is Cute Magical Dream Colouring Animal Colouring Book. So this one here is really, really sweet. Um, it's similar to the other one in that it's got the half sizes. So um, every time I see a llama, I always think of Gem from the Colour Cave because I know she really likes llamas. So, um, but yeah, it's really sweet that it's got the inspiration and then you can follow along or use your own colours. So there's that one that I would quite like to do. And the other one that I would quite like to do is this one with the giraffe and the elephant. Um, I will do a flip, I'll do a full flip through of, of this one. Um, and there's also another one by the same illustrator. Now this one here translate to cute magical dream, um, colour 12 months. And this one's really sweet as well. So it's very much pastel, similar to the other one. Um, so it's got step by step, it is obviously all in Japanese. So the one that I would really like to do is an Easter one, so with the little chicks. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. And it's quite nice. Some of them are more detailed than others. Um, but yeah, I thought that would be a fun one, a fun one to have in my collection. So there's that one. Now the next one. So the next one is um, Beatrix Potter, so it's Peter Rabbit. Now I didn't actually realise when I purchased this that it actually came with pencils. So this one here, um, on Amazon it's adult colouring um, book postcard um, Peter Rabbit coloured pencil box. Um, I translated that. Um, so these are the pencils that it came with. Now I've used I've used a couple of them, um, and you know they do feel like relatively good quality pencils. Um, I've not tried them out extensively, so um, but yeah, it's a nice it's a nice extra to have. Um, so this absolutely gorgeous book. So it's got so it's a similar format to the other two. Um, I would really like to try watercolor in this one. I'm not sure. About the, the paper seems quite relatively smooth. Um, the one that I would really like to do first is oh, so yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, is this one? Yeah, I thought that was really sweet. So these inspiration, and then you can you can colour the one on the right hand side of the page there's a few of them beautiful so there's that one so the next one so um it translates to cute um coloring and postcard book friday fairy tale and friends um so so it was actually the front cover that really um enabled me to get this book so that is the one that I would really like to colour first. And I'll just, I will do a full fit, flip through of this one um, in another video. I'll probably put it to some like music or something. Again, some of them are quite detailed. So you've got the inspiration on this side and then you can colour the one on the right. Uh, some of them are more simple than others, which is quite nice. Um, it's quite thick. Um, and you can obviously post them as postcards. So it's a few sort of like more Eastery ones as well. So there's that one. Now the next one, um, I'm sure many of you have probably seen. So it's by Eerie and it translates to Beyond the World Fairy Tale Story Colouring Book. Um, so I've not coloured in this one here as of yet. Um, it's similar size, or it's the same size as a romantic country. I would say this one here, some of the pages look less detailed than the romantic country. There is, it does seem to be different sort of style. Um, so this is the page that I would really like to colour first. I thought it'd be nice to do 
beautiful background maybe like a sunset or something so it's just um, the different fairy tales some of them I, I, I recognize and some of them I don't um, yeah so I look forward to coloring in this one and again at the back you've got um, similar to the romantic country you have got these little little extras at the back that you can cut out and um, and color that's quite sweet so there's that one so the next one with the Amazon Japan haul was um, Rhapsody in the Forest and this is also by Konoko Agusa. Um, so I'm quite intimidated by um, the Konoko Agusa books. So the, the postcard um, book of hers, I was hoping that might be a good way of introducing me into some of our artwork because it is just so beautiful, but it's quite detailed and I'm hoping it'll give me a bit of confidence. Um, but I did get this one here. Um, I have got the other the other one that's got a similar, I can't remember the name of it, but this one here is Rhapsody in the Forest. Um, and it is very detailed, it's white paper. Um, so yeah. Oh, that's a beautiful page, that's post, post stamps. I've seen a few um, people do this and it's come out so beautiful, it's lovely. So there's that one. So that's the last of my um, Amazon Japan haul. Um, I will leave the link actually in the description below. Um, it wasn't as expensive as what I thought. It was the first time I've ever actually ordered from um, Amazon Japan. Um, and yeah, it was, they came relatively quickly within like a couple of weeks. So I did have a good experience ordering through them. So the next one I ordered on, I pre-ordered on Amazon and, uh, it's absolutely beautiful. It is very, it, I would say it is different to his previous books, um, the Morphia series. Um, it, they, there's tends to be, there's less like sort of doodles, um, but it is, I've actually done a picture in here and you will see it in my completed pages. Um, but yes, it's absolutely gorgeous. I won't do a flip through of this one um, because I, there are quite a few different flip throughs out there. So, um, but I'll just show you a few of the pages. It's absolutely beautiful. And at the back, it's actually got, so they are now numbered, which is really handy. And then you can see about the animals. So it will tell you, the different the different animals and where they are on the critical or endangered or vulnerable list and it just shows um tells you about some of the like the habitats as well so that's a really nice one i look forward to coloring more in this one so this one here i ordered I ordered this one here on um, on eBay. It was the cheapest with shipping, um, and it's an absolutely beautiful book. I have got her two um, two first books from April, so it's Forest Girl one and two. Um, I've not coloured in those either, but I know that you know it might become more difficult to get hold of. So I thought I'll, I I know that I will eventually colour in it. So. I thought I'd get my copy now and um, and yeah. So I would really like to do watercolours um, in this one, but I need to really start practicing. So the page that I would really like to start with, because it doesn't, it's not as detailed as some of the other ones, is this one. And I really like the fact that it's quite sketchy. Um, so you don't have those like harsh dark lines. Um, so I think with watercolour, that would really suit this. I don't know how it would react on this paper. Um, I have got the premium edition of the of the, the second um, Forest Girl. And I think the paper is probably, I think it's thicker. Um, but it is, it's an absolutely gorgeous book. So this one here is called Hot Cocoa. And, and then it is also in sections. So it's in three parts. Yeah, beautiful. So yeah, some are more detailed than others, and um, I really would like to bite the bullet, so to speak, and 
and colour one in here as well as the other two. So and it's lovely that they've got some inspiration as well of how they've been coloured. Yeah, it's lovely. So there's that one. So that is all of my um, haul um, for, for, for January and February. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to be doing a lot of these. I plan to not buy as much. I'm very surprised how much I actually have bought in the last couple of months. Um, and I would also like to say I really do apologise for my nails. They are actually shellac and... Um, because we are in lockdown in the UK, I've not been able to get them um, removed. And um, yeah, and that is the reason. So I've been trying to pick it off and it, some of it will not come off. <laughs> so um, yeah, I do apologise about that. Um, yeah, excuse the nails. But thank you very much for watching and um, I will be uploading a video again soon. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.